most critical crops that a farmer grew in 19th century southern Appalachia was corn. Due to its level of importance, a proper crib shed or corn crib was needed for storage. The corn crib here at the Center for Pioneer Life was brought from Brinkley Farm to demonstrate just how important this particular crop was. Dylan Wilson, the restorer and farm manager at the Center for Pioneer Life, recalls old time stories of the purpose and place for corn in 19th century North Carolina. On the Appalachian farm or a mountain farm or really any farm, the nail that held everything together is corn. It's field corn that they raised because uh, the field corn, the grain fed the chickens and the hogs and horses and cattle and sheep and the grain also uh, went to meal to make cornmeal to feed the family. And they also ate it, they ate it like corn on the cob, but uh, there actually wasn't sweet corn like we eat these days until uh, around the 1930s. And it was, it was made in a laboratory, genetically made, but uh, before that it was all field corn. And used to, to eat it like we do these days, they would put sugar if they had it on it, or molasses. But the field corn was the nail that held the farm together. And to keep it, uh, they let it mature until the, the, uh, the corn hardened up on the stalk. And, and then they would gather it and bring it to what's called a crib shed or a corn crib. And the crib shed was a building that was built up with one side was the, the uh, warehouse for the corn and the, the other slope of the roof was a shed for the wagon or the sled that they brought the corn in with. The corn crib, the main thing they had to have is air. They had to have it dry from the top so the rain wouldn't come in, but they had to have air to make the corn harden up and work when they put it, put it in the crib that it wouldn't mold. It was a place to keep the, uh, the animals out and the rats and coons and, and all the animals, which are most animals, even buyers that eat corn. A lot of the old farmers would keep black snakes in the crib with their corn and, and a lot of times the, the kids had to go get, get corn out of, the, out of the crib shed to take to the mill or to shell. They had a corn sheller there at the crib because they could hear the black snakes um, going around through the corn shucks and the farmer, farmer wouldn't let you kill his black snake. But they, also, they had a, a, a corn sheller, most of them, outside of the corn crib. After, after the corn was gathered in the sled or the wagon, they would bring it and get it under the shed. And sometimes they would have a, what was called a corn shuck and, and it was kind of a social event. And all the, most of the young people and the old people would come around and they'd shuck the corn and throw it in the crib. But now how you got, got the corn into the crib is usually there was a door up high that hinged that came up and you shuck the corn or just take it out of the wagon and throw it up in that top uh, door. And the reason the door wasn't down low is because it would fill up and, and uh, you didn't want a door opening up in the corn falling out. Up until the late 1860s, the corn crib was just, was just built out of logs or built out of strips to, uh, to keep the big, the big stuff like uh, coons and, 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 uh, and big rats out of the, of the corn crib. But later on in the later 1860s, they got what was called rat wire. And uh, most of the, the old corn cribs you see now has got uh, wire in them to keep the mice out. Corn was such an important crop that uh, sometimes when a neighbor had a crop that, that didn't do well or his corn hadn't come in, yeah, and he, he'd used up all his corn. Sometimes he would have to borrow corn from his neighbor and and uh, get a couple of bushels or so and bring it over and then he would pay him back. It was just such an important crop. Without, without corn, you were just sunk. That's the reason why that you had to have a good corn crib to keep, keep the varmints out and to keep the weather out because if you didn't have that crop of corn, 
you were up against it, as the old timers would say. Our mission at the Center for Pioneer Life is to preserve the legacy of the Southern Appalachian pioneer families who settled this region and experience how they lived.